Hello, thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you got a chance to see the one yesterday with the, our trip up to Penducket and uh, Crystal Beach. Uh, this video is going to be about cooking a mahi-mahi known in the Philippines here as a Dorado. It's one of my favorite fish to eat, saltwater fish to eat anyway. Um, Tess got one at the Plinky today. I uh, got a little bit of video assistance from Jackie who went with her and, and helped out. Um, should be a short video. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, hello everybody. I uh, this Tessie got a uh, Dorado at the market. Um, also known as Mahi Mahi. It's a smaller one, but um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I cook it. Pretty simple recipe. It's uh, turns out very tasty. So the, after, of course, cleaning it, the ingredients you need is the banana leaves, uh, onion, garlic, um, zatarain's extra spicy crab boil, some aluminum paper, and then it will eventually be grilled on the grill over there that Jojo is preparing. So first thing you do is cut the all the fins off so they don't poke through your aluminum foil. favorite ocean fish to catch and eat. Okay, once you get all the, the fins cut off, I don't worry about this back one because it lays down flat on the back anyways. Stays out of the way for cooking. Take, make some horizontal cuts in the fish so that it'll cook all the way through without overcooking the outside. Cuts don't need to exactly lined up on either side. In fact, it might even help if you alternate them so the heat can get in the, the meat. 
Put this over here. All right, so the next thing is you take one of your banana leaves. Oh, here's the egg too, I put the egg in there. Uh, for those of you that like eating eggs, take one of your banana leaves and lay it out. The purpose of banana leaf primarily is to keep the uh, fish moist and to keep it from burning. And you stick the eggs back in there because they'll get overcooked and dried out if you're not careful. And then all this ingredients, same kind of thing. You mix mix, put it in there, in that cavity. Put some. Oh, I didn't pick up the tongue lead. So then you also sprinkle some on the outside. And then, um, that's fine. Then uh, this is the tongue lead or lemon grass. Um, I just stick that inside here as well. So it, it uh, permeates through the cavity of the fish actually quite nicely. Okay, so then you take your Zatarans. I need a spoon. That's uh, Zatarans Extra Spicy Crab Boil. Not an endorsement, but I'm a fan of this product for a lot of seafood cooking and actually works good on hamburgers too. For uh, seasoning for hamburger meat. So I'll make a Cajun style hamburger. So you take the Zatarans and just sprinkle it over the fish. Get a little bit inside the fish. Mm -hmm. Mix with all the rest of that stuff in there. Now turn the fish over. Repeat the process. Just like that. And you take your other other one, lay it over the top. And you kind of trim up your. I need the. Kind of trim up your your uh, bamboo so that or your bamboo, your banana leaves because um, you don't need the whole thing and get a, get a little foil around all of this yet. like that. Now, rip off the sheet of aluminum foil. Okay. 
it just like that. So that's ready to go so now we come over here and kind of get our fire ready so because of the uh, this type of grill you, you want to or, want to organize your coals so that you don't get direct heat on the fish um, so with this type of grill especially and out on the ends is thinner right so it's going to cook quicker so you want to keep your hottest coals kind of right towards the center but you're going to push them out here on the edges so that it's not directly in contact with the fish. there make sure it's evenly placed between the two rolls of coals you got and then I'll let this cook about uh, 15 minutes on this side and then um, then I'll flip it over and cook it for 15 minutes on the other side okay she's uh, ready to flip I uh, it's really a guessing game, right? You have 10 or 15 minutes, depending on the, the size of the fish. Of course, the bigger the fish, the longer it's going to take per side. And then your temperature is also something to do with that. Um, the way I kind of check is, is I'll touch right here in the center. And if it's, if it's hot in the center, um, then that tells me that the, the, the fish is, is starting to, to cook all the way through. So now I'll flip it. You only flip it the one time, and then you let it go again for 11 to 10 or 15 minutes. And Try to do this without getting burned. Just like that. There we go. Now I'll let it go like this for another 10 or 15 minutes and then uh, we'll open it and have a look, see how she's doing. Okay, it's been uh, about uh, 12 minutes. Um, thank you for patiently waiting. Magic. Magic of the camera, right? I'm going to uh, open this up and see what it looks like. Um, and see if she's ready to come off the grill. Check down in the thickest part of the back there. And now I'll cover it back up initially. And uh, I'm going to let everybody else know it's ready and then we'll get it off the grill. Okay, I went and got a plato to put the fish on. Here, kind of sneak it on there. There we go. Wow. Picture. Dorado. So, see oh, yeah, what the meat yeah, looks yeah, like when uh, it's fully cooked. Fries. So, yeah, it's nice, white, and flaky. Mm -hmm. mm, here, Jack, you want to try some? It's hot. Oh, hot. 
<laughs> Bob! Sorry! <laughs> Best fish in the ocean, in my opinion. Way better than tuna. So now it's time to eat. Uh, seaweed, every step. So it's, that's uh, seaweed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, this is the what is, fingers. what's this? This is bagoong with ba um, lemon and um, hot peppers. Bagoong. Puff rice. Puff rice. Uh, puff rice. Puff rice. And these are uh, tomatoes. Ano yan? Kaya tagal talaga yan. Ang ganda nung kakaroon po kakaupit. Ito arlay nyo sa tubig nyo para may lasa. Seaweed. Mm. 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 M